everyone, it's Miss Emily with STEM here. I have another experiment for you, a science experiment. This time you're going to need food coloring. Ta-da! You're going to need a big glass of water. You're going to need vegetable oil, some sort of cup, a spoon to mix the vegetable oil up in, and that's it. Pretty simple, right? All right, first things first. Let's add or put some vegetable oil in our cup. I'm filling it just a little bit. Doesn't need that much, okay? And then I'm gonna put some red food coloring, because I like red. I don't know why the red's so thick. Then some blue food coloring. We know red and blue makes purple. Although, this experiment is very interesting. Okay, we've got some green. Red and green make brown. And some yellow. All in the cup. Alright, now I'm going to show it to you because it's not mixed together yet. You can see it's all lumpy down there. So now, the fun part. You can just stir it up as much as possible. Sloshing. Stir, 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 stir. Okay? And now you're going to pour it into your glass of water. But it's going to do something magical almost. Ready? It made all these bubbles. Why did it make bubbles? Because in science you learn that oil and water do not mix. So... For this experiment, you can see the smaller drops of water are now all the color balls are falling to the falling down. Why is this? Well, the oil holds on to the food coloring in a way that it kind of locks it as little droplets in the food in the oil. Since oil and water don't mix, the oil sits on top. But the food coloring is really heavy, so it begins to make it fall down. As it falls down, some of it can mix with the water, but not everything. Most of it stays in the little droplets as they go down, and you can see them kind of dropping down. The oil is still in a layer on the tippy top. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's science. Enjoy.